Hello, I'm Miss Fry. I teach cosmetology at Lebanon High School. So we offer three different Cosmo classes. We have Cosmo 1, 2, and 3. Cosmo 1 you can take as a freshman. In Cosmo 1 we go over the basics of sanitation, disinfection, um, how to properly clean your tools. Um, we kind of cover the basics in Cosmo 1. Once we get over into Cosmo 2, that is when we cover hair color, hair cutting, um, and then in Cosmo 3, we get more into like facials and waxing and nails. So we kind of cover everything in the beauty industry throughout those three courses. Now, you will not be certified um, as a cosmetologist when you finish these um, programs, but what you do get is hours. So you have to have 1,500 hours to be a licensed cosmetologist after you pass your boards. So each day that you're in class, you are earning one hour towards your license. So you may, um, I had a student who took my class from freshman year up until her senior year and she will graduate with 500 hours. So she is going on to cosmetology school and she will earn the rest of her hours and then she will be licensed once she takes her tests and pass them. And so a lot of kids that I've had um, when they've graduated and they've moved on to cosmetology school, they haven't had to go the full time because they've got most of their hours while they were in here. Um, so it's a pretty cool program. We do get to work on each other. Now we don't do each other's colors or cuts, but we do practice like shampooing and styling and updos. Um, you do get to color your mannequins. We'll go over acrylics that you can go over with on your mannequin hand. Um, so those are just a few things um, that we get to do in cosmetology. There is book work, so we do go over the book work. We do take a few notes. Um, and then we go over to the salon and work for the day. Um, so it's a pretty fun class and you do learn a lot. There's other things um, that go with it just besides hair. We go over a little bit of chemistry when mixing color. Um, we go over a little bit of anatomy and physiology. We go over the muscles for um, massages and facials. So there's different things that you may not think of um, that you will learn a little bit about in this program. So it's pretty fun. Um, we have a good time in the class working on each other, working on the mannequins, and just seeing kind of all the different styles that we get to do. So I hope you sign up and get to take this program. My name is Georgia Myrick Mann. I'm a level four stylist here at Tangle Salon in Mount Juliet. I absolutely love my job and I absolutely love talking about it. So this is pretty easy for me. Really for this position, you just need to have top-notch creativity, great customer service skills, you know, just to take care of your clients. Clients are coming in that might be having a change. They could be nervous about that. So making them feel comfortable, educating them on products to take home, to take care of their hair for the service that you rendered that day, and just having fun. I feel like every day is different. It's a new opportunity for new things. I feel one of the most important things about this job is continuing education. Really, statistics show that 20% of hairstylists do continue education, and that's really not enough. Trends are always changing with hair colors and haircuts, so if I had to pick three things, creativity, continuing education, and great customer service skills. Hello there. Hi, I'm Lisa Tucker. I'm owner of Aquabella Day Spa and Hair Studio in Mount Juliet, Tennessee. I have been a hairdresser now for almost 40 years. Um, I was very blessed to be able to take some hours in high school. Um, so I turned 18 and got out. I started my career and what a great career it has been. My daily task is taking care of clients, listening to wonderful stories, building amazing relationships that are lifelong with my clients and staff. We make people beautiful, we have fun, and we make really good money. It's a great career.